here are the tools and materials used in this Zodiac Dragon course. Pay attention to the force when tracing. It is necessary to produce changes based on the structural changes. When the leather surface feels insufficient moisture, I need to spray it with water and moisten it. Water spray is used to soften the leather, make the knife line and carving marks clearer. Next, start tapping the edges. Use Zhong Jiang's B012-B012-S and B013. When carving the cloud, control the carving force. Because the lines of the clouds are more carved, so try to be gentle when tapping. Distinguish it from the main body. Places with heavy shadows like this. Knock it deep, use A008. Use A009 for diffusion and transition. Gently tamp outward and become shallower. This is to express the transition of shadows from deep to shallow. Finish it up again to make the corners round. Make it closer to the rounded texture of the dragon's beard. It also looks more three-dimensional after having a reindeer. Now start dyeing. The proportion of water added here is about 1 to 10 or 15. Use a black color just adjusted to depict the overall shadow part. First, press down the color of the dark part, such as black in the background. Start with the heavier colors. Let it have a color transition from deep to light. Dragons have no physical objects because the image of a dragon is. People fantasize the images, but when drawing, it can also be based on basic sketch relationships and spatial relationships. Judge the brightness and darkness of painting according to its basic logic. Use adjusted chromy yellow. Apply background color to the hole. Why do I need to make the background color first when making its pattern? Because of the black and white contrast of the pattern. It's relatively important. So deal with light and shade first. Then go ahead and lay the background color. This will make it easier. Pull the contrast apart. Pay attention to the edge of the cloud here. Paint yellow reflections. Represent the color generated by the reflection of light from lightning in the clouds. Of course, for beginners, still need to grasp its overall effect and then deal with the details. And this time, the range of painting is from black to brown in the middle. The purpose of deepening the background is to darken the color of the background so as to the highlight the main body of our relative quantity. You can control the paint on the pen to be dry at this time. Deep the color bit by bit with a brush stroke. Let it form a gradual change. Include the edge of the dragon scale, which also requires a reflective depiction. However, there is still a color bar towards white on the whole. Include some yellowish parts in the cloud here and express it. It can be seen after brightening the white color. Compared with the dark part, clouds have a sense of volume. Relatively speaking, it also has a certain thickness. Make the bright part brighter. Gray places don't need to be depicted. Let the cloud have a clear contrast between light and dark.
Okay, that's basically the end of this course. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.